We're going to check out the job here real quick. We're also going to, in this video, y'all hang tight, look straight over my loader there. I believe you're in line with it. Y'all see that fire tower over there? We're going to fly over there and we're going to check that fire tower out. Right there. That fire tower is sitting on the highest spot of elevation in Monroe County, Mississippi. That's where we're sitting at. There's Chad, Kevin, and Derek is out there somewhere that's going up a little bit higher. So There's Derek. You see that tree falling right there? We're just gonna make a quick loop here and see what the job currently looks like. Let's see the ground here. And like I said, we we're going to go over there and check out the fire tower. And of course, when I get down, the wind would have to pick up and jack my audio up. That's okay. I'll try to block it off the microphone here. Show y'all what the job looks like. Let's get on up here and higher. Back up, Terry. There we go. Uh, it's a pretty good view. It's about 276 feet elevation right there. Going up a little bit higher. That's about 370 now. That's going to be some bushes around the shooting house right there that's straight in front of me. As you can see. They'll be left, we won't cut them. Let's see, you got a truck coming in. Look at that, you see the dust where the dance dandy coming in right there. He's heading straight at me right now. We've covered a pretty good bit of ground on this job here. We ain't covered enough because it needs to be finished. There's Danny driving by me right there. Six thirty five boy sticker pegging out sound there. See the wood pile. All that pile on the right over there, I'll be able to haul it starting at 1230 today. That's when they're gonna open the gate. So I'll load that stuff up right there. See Danny backing in beside me i don't have i currently don't have a load that i can load him with right now i'll get up there in just a little bit after i get through filming start working on loading him all right Moving brush around. All right, so this is the next day after the drone footage you just seen. There's Kevin and uh, Chad right there. We have a uh, dad up here with us today. We brought him up here and he's on the 
630. Let's see if we can find him. We've got a bad spot right here that we're trying to work. The, the way they've got this road built, where it comes right there, there's a loading deck right there, but we're not going to use that because the the camber, the way they've got the road built coming into the main road right here is not going to work. We'd have to pull every truck into the road because this is a spot where you would definitely get a rear end of a truck easy. And... So we're just gonna drag it to Kevin. So we got the 630 running. Of course, like I said, Dad's on it. There's Derek cutting right there. Let's back her up and go up here and see what this spot. I don't think it's a very big spot right here. He's got a cut. I think that's gonna maybe be the line right there that he's sitting on right there. I don't know, them trees right there may go too. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, there's the line. That's gonna be the cut line right there. So it should match up with that. All right, okay, he's working on the line right there right now. Okay, all right. So he's got that little finger right there he's working on. Where he's cut to right there, that's gonna be like an SMZ right there. So that should be as far as you gotta go. And you gotta trim up that, cut that finger out. Cause some of that to the right is gonna be left for the drain. Let's see. That's back toward that loading deck I was talking about. Okay, so it's not that much. So that'll be good then. That'll be good. And then this little little teardrop looking piece right there that's by the processor he'll he'll chop that too all right so i'm with him now here we're actually going through this track uh, pretty quick which is a good thing because and the train is not very good up here and the uh the wood right here and kind of in this area has been a little bit better in spots, but some of the spots it is not. Let's bring the drone on down some more here. All right, so I'm about 130, and we'll go down about 100 feet above the ground. About 100, a little better than 100 right there. So you can see Chad, and then there's Dad on 630. Well, 630 is a good machine, but it just it just will not pull because it's got the four wheels on it. It just will not pull what that 635 will pull in these heels right here. It's not going to happen. There's a, no comparison between those two machines. We're still currently having a lot of trouble with the bark slipping off these trees. There's Dad right there again on 630. I'm just going to follow him to the processor. But I, I guess because we keep still having these uh, cool nights and we had so much rain this spring that and we really hadn't had to show. We're, we're just now beginning to get into the heat and the humidity right now in the beginning of June. And normally we've already had that and i don't think the bark the trees the trees ought to be getting some good growth this year just put it that away but they're still very tender that's that old loading deck he's going by right now that we're not going to use there's just some of these places it's just not worth putting a truck in and, and tearing the rear end out and especially right now the way things are it's just not worth it so we're on the side of caution and uh just don't do it man all right that's a 
Yeah, that's a mean hill he's going up right there, going up to Kevin right there right now. Let me get over here, kind of beside him, drop the drone down some. Let's see. Give you a better angle on here. That that hole, that's deep right there. You can kind of see a little better right there now. So there's a processor. Spin. You can see it right there where you come through. It's a tough, tough spot right there. I heard it just squeak. I think he choked her down right there to. Zoom in on it here. The clay's good. It's holding up a under them right there where they can grip it real good. So he's turned around by and hear that backup beeper on it. So he's turned around backwards, driving forward in the seat. Your dad does that a lot. A lot of times he drives all the way to the to the processor with the seat turned around backwards and just don't get in his way because he will he'll run over you. You know how old folks are. I said, well, I'm just old. Get him run over you. I get an excuse. <laughs> so Chad is coming up. I hear Chad, too. I see. Where are you? There's Chad. Isn't that pulling down on that machine a little bit? Good deal. So that's the intersection of uh, Lackey Road and Grove Springs Road right there. We're just gonna make a big loop here. Turn back toward the jaw. There's the jaw right there. Kind of gives you an idea of the uh, layout of this dude here. All right, so I'm gonna stop this, grab me a picture right quick. We'll be done. This is gonna be look pretty slick when we get done with it. Just hope we continue moving through it like we are. Cause these jobs right here, man, they'll, they'll wear on you pretty bad. Cause it's, it's hard all the way around with the terrain and then the wood and then getting it on the trucks and making it stay on the truck so it don't come off going down the road makes for makes for some long days that is for sure man <laughs>